O-S-A-S stands for once saved, always saved. A truly saved person, a truly saved person can't lose their salvation. Now, the people who believe you can lose your salvation are, in general, well-meaning people. I'm not mad at them. They have every right to believe anything they so desire. I just disagree with them. And I will show you that they are very blinded in this video. Now, I'm going to give you examples of what they are blinded about and the main reason why they are blinded. Are these people saved? I suspect some of them are. Uh, I suspect some of them got saved at a very early age, 8, 10, 12, 14 at a church camp or something like that, and then later were re-educated on the teaching that saved people can lose their salvation. This is my fourth video on OSAS. The first one was 183, the second one was 184, and the third one was 185. I've also done other videos on this subject, video 106, 147, 151, and 164. Now, before I go on, I just want to review quickly how a person gets eternal life, everlasting life, are saved from their sins, because I'm sure there's at least one person looking on out there that is not on their way to heaven. First of all, most people in the world are trying to work their way to heaven. That won't work. The Bible's clear. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can't work your way to heaven. Eternal life's a free gift. Jesus paid for it on the cross with his death, burial, and resurrection. He offers us a free gift of eternal life. That is clear from Romans 6, 23. How do you receive this free gift? You simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at John chapter 1, verse 12. The object of your faith for your eternal life must be totally, 100% on Jesus. For more details, take a look at my video 152, which is pinned to the top of this page. Now back to the main subject. People who teach you can lose your salvation are blinded. I'm going to give you a very simple, easy example, and then I'll tell you why they are blinded. They can't understand a simple word in this verse. It's John 6, 47. Jesus speaking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. A saved person has everlasting lasting life you can't lose your salvation if you have everlasting life i don't care what verse you run to in the bible you can't lose salvation you can't lose everlasting life before the rapture now the first time everlasting is used in the new testament it's at matthew chapter 18 verse 8 and jesus is talking about the everlasting fire well we finally get the devil in that everlasting fire at Revelation 20, verse 10, and it's forever and ever. So the Bible clearly teaches that everlasting is forever and ever. Now, anyone who believes in Jesus has everlasting life forever and ever. It's not temporary life, it's not probationary life, and it's not conditional life. But people who teach you can lose your salvation are blinded by that very simple word. Noah Webster wrote a dictionary in 1828. Everlasting means lasting or enduring forever. But the people who teach you can lose your salvation can't get that. Now, why are they blinded? Now, this is really, really important. They are blinded because they pervert a Bible truth that is very important to the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to Galatians 1.7. There be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. The people who teach you can lose your salvation pervert, change the saving gospel. And here's how they do it. The saving gospel is defined at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. That's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Verse 3 says, Christ died for our sins. He died for all our sins. 
Titus 2.14 confirms that. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity. All iniquity. All sins. Colossians 2.13 says, having forgiven you all trespasses. Saves people are forgiving of all trespasses. Now the people who are blinded that teach you can lose your salvation are blinded by the word everlasting and they're also blinded by the word all. Why? Because they deny that. They deny that Jesus died for all sins and forgives us of all sins. They have certain sins that they teach a person can lose their salvation on, whether it be fornication, adultery, whatever, walking away from Jesus. Now, they don't say it that way, but that's their theological position. Jesus did not die for all sins, and he does not forgive all sins of saved people. They are gospel deniers. They have every right to do so. They pervert the saving gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here is why they are blinded and can't understand simple truth, simple words like everlasting and all. Here's why. Jesus came to earth. God came to earth, took on a human body. He allowed humans to beat him, scourge him before he was crucified. He was crucified naked. He was crucified, extreme torture for a human being. What a sacrifice our Savior did. But here come the gospel deniers. They basically mock that all-sufficient sacrifice. It wasn't all-sufficient for those certain sins that they come up with. They therefore teach a false gospel. They are blinded for this reason. All treasures of wisdom and knowledge are where? In Jesus. That's Colossians 2, 3. Now listen to Listen to Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. How much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding do you think the Lord will give to anyone who perverts his saving gospel? That is why they are blinded. They can't even understand simple words like everlasting and all. Bottom line, anybody... Anyone who teaches you can lose your salvation is blinded. I personally would not listen to anyone who teaches you can lose your salvation. If they can't get basic, simple things like everlasting and all right, what else are they going to be blinded to? Now, this video was not made for the people who teach you can lose your salvation. It was made for those who are still seeking the truth on this subject.